So uh, welcome to Aris Patekin. Today we're going to talk about uh, silky hand sauce, which is probably, silk is probably the uh, most well-known brand for hand sauce in the world. Uh, it was founded in 1919 in the uh, Japanese mountains and uh, all of these sauce are made from premium Japanese uh, steel. Uh, each blade is cut out by laser. Um, there's a very special process to hardening these, uh, these blades as well. So there's a, the, the chemical com, uh, composition uh, in the blades is, is, uh, is a lot of uh, carbon. So uh, that gives the blade uh, a very strong uh, surface, but also a core which is uh, softer than the, uh, the rest of the blade, which makes it uh, very flexible as well as very uh, wear and terrible. So um, by forging you know, these blades in that way, uh, the core, uh, as I said, you know, stays soft and gets very flexible. Um, there's a number of different uh, features of these saws. Uh, the teeth, for once, is um, what we refer to as non-set teeth. That means that the tooth is grinded in four different ways. The blade is taper grounded to reduce uh, the resistance. Okay, so uh, most of these saws have um, a technology which is called non-set teeth. Uh, which is uh, a very special way uh, to uh, cut uh, the teeth. So um, the tooth is as is widest in, in, the t in the tip and is as narrow in the middle. So uh, this technique gives a very smooth cut and it also uh, helps you to um, get out the, the sawdust from, from, the, uh, from the cut. Uh, also it destroys as uh, much as 50% less of the uh, of the biomass in the in the wood, um, um, and uh, you know the blades are are grinded uh, bioconcave. So um, this design has several advantages. You know, less power needed to saw. Uh, you know, so extremely fast, as you know. Uh, it discharges the sawdust very efficiently. Uh, you know, nothing gets stuck, uh, and it gets a, a very clean cut in the wood. It hardly splinters and uh, it creates a very fun, fine, smooth sword. Um, then we have um, another feature of these uh, blades and they are uh, chrome plated. So uh, once they're manufactured, they're polished uh, and then they're chrome plated. And they're actually chrome plated all the way down the, to the tooth as well. So that gives, uh, you know, a very durable tooth. A lot of these saws have what we call um, are impulse hardened. The, so the teeth are impulse hardened, which means they're, they're uh, heated to a very high temperature uh, during a split second. Uh, and that gives uh, a very durable, very strong tip uh, on the blade. Another thing with the um, the uh, induction hardening is that uh, only the tip is uh, hardened, uh, which leaves you know the uh, the rest of the blade to be very flexible. The flip side with the you know impulse hardened teeth are that they are not sharpable, so you can't use a file to sharp them again. Uh, there are some exceptions in the uh, in the silky family. Um, the Segoy, for instance, uh, you are able to f use a file to sharpen the, the teeth on, on the saw. Uh, also on some of the uh, pole saws that we're going to have a look on later. Most of these saws uh, are fitted with uh, um, what Silky referred to as a gum handle, a rubber handle, uh, which uh, gives you a very good grip even during wet weather and actually feels warmer even during cold weather as well. So, um, <clears throat> and then of course then we have the, uh, the shapes of the blades. Um, as you know, the, uh, the straight blades are for more fine pruning, so it gives you a finer cut, but it takes longer. Uh, the, the, the more curved blades are uh, more aggressive uh, when you're sewing, so you're sewing faster uh, with these blades. And um, so, uh, of course, then for that reason, they have different uh, areas of usage as well. Then we're going to have a look on the uh, different models that we have on the table here today. We have the uh, Gomtaro, uh, which is typically uh, a pruning saw, uh, 300 millimeter blade. Um, these are mainly for fresh wood. Uh, most of the range we have here are for fresh wood actually. So, um, and then you have different, uh, different uh, sizes of teeth on this one, so pruning and uh, you know a lot of fruit tree uh, 
um, pruning for this one as well. This is probably uh, one of the most popular ones for, for the arborist. It has uh, the extra large uh, teeth, so it cuts very fast. Um, also, this one has you know the uh, now the 3D roller system. So the way of opening this saw is to uh, push your thumb onto one of the rollers on the 3D roller system and release the saw. And it sits very tight in there. Um, that's the uh, Subat Arborist. That's available in the model with uh, <coughs> medium teeth as well. Very popular saw as well. Then we have the Gunfighter, um, uh, which is uh, has a curved blade as well, and uh, a different uh, attachment of the handle to this one. This saw has uh, progressive teeth, so it's um, finer the, the further into the blade you get, and you get bigger tooth outside. So you can use this for, for both the pruning and, and cutting. The Sugoi, which is um, the bigger uh, holster saws available in, in different lengths as well. This one has extra large uh, teeth. Uh, this one is, is for uh, fresh wood and seasoned wood as well. Very large blade on this one. Uh, you also have an uh, uh, edge here that means you can twitch down small pieces of branches. Um, then we have the, um, the Tsurugi. Uh, this is uh, the same as the, the other Tsurugi we're going to show. But this has a straight blade, very narrow uh, and um, fine teeth for pruning uh, to get in between branches on fruit trees, for instance, um, and uh, you know ornamental trees and fruit trees, landscaping saw as well. Uh, then we have the um, uh, the Gomtaro Prosente Professional, which is uh, pretty new in our selection. This is a kind of a dual purpose pruning saw. Uh, has very fine teeth at the top and larger so this uh, this progressive blade as well and as you can see it's a straight blade because for a pruning saw you want to have as fine cuts as possible to make the cambium grow over and, and the tree to heal itself. Um, then we have the Tsuruga Curve um, more aggressive uh, cutting like I said but very thin blade as well and a different type of handle which you kind of open to change your blade. All these blades are interchangeable and sold as spare parts. Some people want um, maybe sometime a little smaller folding saw. This is the Super XL. It has large teeth and it's mostly used for pruning. A uh, little pocket boy here, uh, also very small saw but very efficient with large teeth. Let's have a look on some of the uh, pole saws that we have. Uh, this is the Hayauchi. Uh, this is the smallest version, it uh, becomes 3.7 meters extended. We have uh, the other versions available as well. They get up to uh, 4.9 and 6.3 uh, with this, uh, this handle, which has a rubber end to it to make it easy to uh, get a good grip. We also have the, um, uh, the long boy, which is uh, probably a lighter saw, extends to uh, uh, 3.1 meter. Uh, the blade to the Hayochi is a very uh, very big blade uh, so um, this blade you can sharpen um, and um, you have uh, it's it's sharp on both the the downside of the blade and the, the top of the blade to be able to pull small twitches in the tree um, and there's also uh, like a hook fox available for when you're working in a tree, maybe you don't want to uh, take it down all the time. So there's a little hook here that you hang up in the tree uh, when you get tired and want to rest a little bit. It's a good workout for your shoulders to use a pole saw. So uh, thank you very much for watching. This was just a quick overview of the selection of silky saws that we have available here at our Bris Uh if you have any questions or comments, uh, please get back to us. Thank you very much for now. Bye.